I remember the day we got David's first motorbike. We bought it for him for his 16th birthday. And it was a few days before his birthday that we picked it up. It was a heap of a thing, really. And he was so excited. And we brought it home on the back of his dad's truck. And David was standing out on the on the park and space. And he was jumping up and down with excitement. And that, that was just fabulous. That's a lovely, lovely memory. And I know Ken says that he wishes he'd never bought him that first bike. But I honestly wouldn't have denied David his 22 years of riding pleasure. David was the most wonderful son. He was never a tear away. He never ever got into trouble. Um, he was just polite, friendly, kind, generous, had so much to give. And his friends describe him as a legend and a gentleman. He'd only come back from Antarctica um, at the end of February, so he'd only been back just over three months. He'd been away for 15 months working for the British Antarctic Survey. The day of the accident, he'd been to King's Lynn. He'd met up with some of his colleague, colleagues from Antarctica and some of his <laughs> UK friends, um, and they'd been to um, a race meet and a dirt quake. And he'd had a brilliant day. I know he rode fast that day. He loved speed. He loved motorbikes. The driver didn't see him and turned right across his path. David didn't have time to take evasive action. This isn't an easy thing to do, but I just hope that somebody benefits from it, that motorists slow down. They look before they turn to junctions. They think, as a motorcyclist, yeah, he's going fast, what might he do? Motorcyclists think, as a car driver, what might he do? Oh, 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 oh,